For the Rangers, this is a pretty important ball game. The last game on this homestand, one more chance to pick up a win against a team careening toward 100 losses, and the timing is pretty critical for this Rangers team. 26 start for John Gray. Overall, an 8 and 7 record for Gray with that 3.85 ERA. 17 home runs allowed in his 142 and two thirds innings. And he takes strike three call. Good fastball from Gray, and there's his first strikeout today. There's Gilla. Swung on and a skimmer hit out to Seeger it short. Sets and throws and gets him. And there are two away. Here's Seth Brown, the left handed batter. Brown swings and hits a one hopper to Marcus Simeon at second. He backhands it, sweeps a sidearm for the first. And the top of the first is over. We go to the bottom of the first after the A's fail to score in the top half. Simeon leads off for the Rangers and then Seeger and Lowe. And it'll be the right hander Luis Medina going this afternoon for the Oakland A's. Three and eight record overall. You can see the high ERA, but don't be fooled by it. He has been much better lately. He's got a really live arm. First pitch swaying. Simeon hits it down the line. If that's fair, it's gone! First pitch of the game, and Simeon puts the Rangers in front. It's a nice job here by Marcus Simeon. Jump on that first fastball that you see and that you like, and it looks like the two-seam fastball with not a lot of run on it at all, and Marcus Simeon with a line shot here to left field, his 23rd home run of the season. Eighth leadoff homer of the year for Marcus, and that is a new franchise record. An ominous start for Medina and the A's. The Rangers have a free base runner. And that will bring up Mitch Garver. And that is lined over third base hit and heading into that left field corner. Low heading to third. He'll be in there easily on the Garver double. He delivers again. And with Robbie Grossman coming up and the Rangers ahead 1-0, the A's are bringing the infield in. Robbie, the switch hitter batting left, hitting 232. That one's in the air. Center field pretty well struck. Butler going back, and he got twisted up. It bounces up over the wall. That's an automatic double. Grossman drives in a pair, and the Rangers lead 3-0. A more hard contact here against Medina, and once again on the slider. This ball is smoked, 102 off the bat, and you can see Butler, and he was in trouble. And the way that that ball was kind of spinning away from him, he was unable to make the adjustment for two RBIs for Robbie Grossman. Up to two, the Rangers lead the A's 3 0, and Soderson leads off for the Athletics. Soderstrom, apply ball to right field, and that's hit well. Going back as Grossman looks up, and it is gone. Tyler Soderstrom with a home run. It's now 3 to 1. That ball got out of here very quickly, his third of the year. Talk about a laser. Tyler Soderstrom, clobbered hit, man. Home run number three, RBI number six, a 3 1 game. Couple of two out walks, leaving the door open for the Athletics here in the third, and Seth Brown is next. Here's Brown, he bounced out of the first inning. Brown, a line drive down the right field line. It is a fair ball base hit, playing the carom is Grossman. Geloff will score around third. No, to he'll hold there. A long single for Brown. It's now 3 to 2. Now, first and third, two outs. That tying run 90 feet away. And here's Jordan Diaz, who's the seventh man to bat in the inning. Swings. Hits one into center field for a base hit. Coming in to score is Noda. Brown around second. He'll hold there. And the A's have tied it up at three. So Diaz picks up his 26th RBI of the year. I tell you, what a string of at-bats here. Well, here comes Bruce Bochy, and that is going to be it for John Gray. Wow. Two and two-thirds innings, and Boch just doesn't have a lot of rope to extend these days. Well, Bruce Bochy deciding to make a move here. Going to see if he can't get Andrew Heaney to take care of Lawrence Butler. Get out of this inning. I mean, the Rangers need to win this ball game. There's a problem down to third. It gets past Josh Smith. It goes into left field. Brown around third. He'll score. And the A's have taken the lead four to three. Got a wicked spin on it, but Josh Smith will be the first one to tell you he's got to make that play. Some serious English on this baseball. I mean, that, that ball just ate up Josh Smith. Start at the bottom of the fourth inning, 4-3 Oakland, and Luis Medina faces Leody Tavares. Got him looking at the outside corner. So Medina picks up the strikeout. That's his second. With Josh Harris Smith, and he got him. Four seamer at 99, picks up the strikeout. That's his third. Now retired six of seven, his first one, two, three inning. Runners at second and third now on a blistering double the other way by Seeger. It brings up Nathaniel Lowe. Lowe had the hit yesterday that broke the scoreless tie in the bottom of the sixth inning. And he shoots this one out into left field. That's a base hit. One run is in. Here comes Seeger right behind Simeon. The throw, not in time. Seeger scores. And the Rangers back in front. 
And for the 20th time this year, Nathaniel Lowe delivers a go-ahead RBI. One out, that'll bring up Josh Smith, who has walked and struck out. And that ball's hit well, right field. Ruiz goes back, it's over his head. Clangs off the fence, heading along the fence now. Tavares will score from first. It's a stand-up triple for Josh Smith. How about the first one in the career of Josh Smith, and he absolutely earned this. He had been hitting the baseball hard and hadn't had a lot to show for it lately. Kroner looking to pick up his first big league RBI. Infield is in, and that's in the air. Center field, Butler backs up. He'll make the catch. Deep enough, though, to get Smith to the plate, and Evan Kroner does pick up his first big league RBI. Rangers pick up another run and they're back in front by three. It's seven to four. So a couple of runs here across in the bottom of the sixth. Rangers up now seven to four. And here's Marcus Simeon lifting one high and deep into left. Kemp going back and looking up and it's gone. For Marcus Simeon, his second home run of the ball game, his 24th of the year. Rangers lead it now eight to four. That ball's ripped and it is gone. Just off the pole, Seager with his 30th of the year. And the Rangers have gone back to back. And that one got out of here in a hurry from Corey Seager, just 353 feet. But how about 114 miles an hour off of the bat? And the Rangers lead 9 to 4. Ninth inning. Rangers lead 9 4. Cody Bradford. Trying to finish this one off. Cody Bradford has been really good for the Rangers. He's been a fun guy to watch. So the Rangers one out away. Here's a ground ball. Second base should do it. Semi on to first. And the Rangers win the series. They come back to win the final two games. 9-4 the final this afternoon.